Hi, so today what we're going to be looking at is how to add pairings directly from the pairing search option right into our bids, which is a really nice feature that comes with the new interface. And once you get used to how to do it, it can really make your life a lot easier. So the first thing you need to know is that prior to being able to add any pairings from your pairing search, you need to have already told the system where it is you want to add these bid lines. So if you have a default, we're currently on a default, and that you've highlighted a line, in this case, line number six is blue, it's therefore selected, any pairings I add from my pairing search will be inserted below this line. But I really do have to click on a line before I can go add anything into my bid. If you are starting with a current bid, make sure you at least have a line number one that says pairing bid group, so the system knows where it can start adding bid lines. So let's go into the pairing search. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm a flight attendant. So uh, this month there are 432 pairings available for flight attendants. If I want to filter through the pairings, I have this pairing preference panel on the right. If your screen is a little smaller than mine, it is possible that this panel does not appear. If it's not appearing for you, there should be a little icon up here that looks like a martini glass. It's actually a filter and when you apply or click on it, you should see the pairing preference panel open up. So for the sake of this example, how about we look for pairing lengths of one day. So we're going to do productive one days perhaps. So I'm going to say exactly one day, but not only do I want them to be just one day, I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to say with the pairing total credit, um, perhaps greater than um, eight hours and I'm going to apply this criteria and the system is now telling me that there are 45 out of 432 pairings that match my criteria if you forget what criteria you were looking for it actually indicates it right up here so pairing list for pairing credit greater than eight pairing length equal to one day now I do have another video that shows you how to look at all these pairings I'm just going to do it quickly here I'm going to select all of those, so little check marks, click on show pairing report, and I can look at all the pairing details. Now from this page, you cannot add directly to your bid. So you may still want a pen and paper if you're going to go through and look at these. Uh, but once you're done, you can close this little box off. Notice that you could have also printed it up. And you'll be back on this screen. I'm just going to close this up. Okay. Um, so I'm going to unselect, whoops, unselect these because what I want right now is to uh, actually select them and so or select one and shoot it right into my bid. So before I can add anything from this page to my bid, um, I have to do this first step. Now this step only needs to be done once per session. So as long as I'm staying in the system, I'll only have to have done this once. If I do log out of the system and come back and want to add more pairings from the pairing search, I will have to repeat this step. So, and that is to come up here and click on the enable add bids mode. And if I click on it, you'll notice that these two little icons became active. One says award, the other says avoid. So I went through and I looked at these and I decided I really like M7009 and I'm willing to do it at any time in the month. So I'm just going to select it by clicking on it. You notice that it now turns white with a little check mark and I'm going to click on award. And the system tells me that award pairings of pairing number 7009 has been added to my default bid. Okay, but let's just go check to make sure. And in fact, it has been and right below the line that I had previously selected, which is what we wanted. So that's great. Now, if I go back to pairings, I can uncheck it because I've finished bidding uh, for that one. So I'm going to click on it and perhaps I've looked and I actually like um, this pairing up here, but I don't like it every day. Um, so what I've decided is I would be willing to do this on the second or on the eighth only. And so you've noticed that I have selected not only the pairing, but the dates that I'd like to do it on, and I'm going to go and award that to my bid. Again, the system tells me what has been added to the default bid, and I can go check it if I want. Now you'll notice that it has added the bid line. Um, if you wanted to add more criteria to this bid line, for example, if you wanted to specify that you want the GJ position or that you only want a limit of one of the two pairings, or again, that you had a preference between the two pairings and you want to put an order 
into that bid line. All of these criteria are things that you would have to add thereafter by editing the bid line. I don't want to confuse anybody, but I'll just show it how to do it very quickly. Up here is the edit. Let's say I do edit. I go and I just follow. Again, I'm clicking on the words, not on the little boxes. Award pairings, and maybe I want to add a position. So position, and I want to be galley position. I'm just going to add it. But if I don't get it as a galley, I do want it as an FA. So I'm just going to add that to the box here. And the order I have it here is the order that's on the line. And that I'm happy with that and I do apply and then close. So um, there are limitations to what you can add from the pairing search. You do have to add certain criteria if you need them, but otherwise you could have just left the line as is. Now going back to pairings, I do want to show you one last little thing. <coughs> Pardon me. I am going to unclick this. Let's say that after I bid all the pairings that I wanted, you know, that are specific, I'm like thinking, you know what, any of these pairings really, if we're, the system keeps reading my bid, any of these pairings would actually suit my needs. So what I can do is, you see here, enable pairing filtered award. I can actually click on this, okay, and I can shoot this. This is the pairing criteria that I had chosen. I can shoot that directly into my bid by clicking on award. And it now says award pairings, if pairing credit, blah, 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 has been added to the default bid. So just so we all understand what I just did, I'm gonna go to the bids and you see here, award pairings, if pairing credit greater than eight hours, if pairing length equal to one day has been added. That was simply the criteria that I had used in my pairing search. Those were the filters. I decided that after I bid all the pairings that I really wanted, I'm really happy with any of those, so I entered it in that way. And so that, in a nutshell, is how you add pairings directly from your pairing search to your bid.